it up for the man who paid me to sound this excited, Abish Matthew! Hello! Namaste! Hi! Hello! What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. So sweet. Thank you. Yeah, sir. Really nice, sir. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh... Hello, 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 and welcome back. This is Son of a Beast. Thank you so much for coming. At this point in time, I'm sucking my stomach so hard right now. I've sucked my stomach so hard, I'm getting acidity only standing. <laughs> At the age of 31, heartburn is caused due to acidity, also known as the real reason Gulzar wrote, Jiya Jale, Jaya Jale. You know, it's, a, it's a middle aged thing. I'm 31. I know you guys can't believe it. It's because of the makeup. Uh, I have so much acidity that my favorite card game is Eno. Good. Young audience is like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm gonna be this great metabolism for the rest of my life. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is gonna happen. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm very, I'm very, uh, very positive. I'm positively growing all directions. Uh, we have two incredibly and self-made and talented, and I'll do that again. We have two incredibly self-made and talented guests on our show tonight. Our first guest is a YouTuber. He's an actor, he's a whiner, but I don't know what the hell he's whining about because he's got 10 million subscribers. <laughs> Our second guest is an amazingly popular actor who has starred in some iconic shows such as Permanent Roommates, Tripling. He's also featured in Guddu Ki Gun, Vire Di Wedding, and now finally on Abish Da Show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ashish Shanchlani and Sumit Ya! <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hey, 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 you guys are very nice people. All right, you guys can take a seat. Hi, thank you for coming, man. Thank you. We've been trying to get you for the last two seasons. Yes, yes. But you've been too busy shooting. No. But thank you for coming. I'm so happy you're here. We have met at multiple parties also, but Sumit ke saath meri baat hui nahi thi because he's too tall. <laughs> My problem is anyone who's remotely taller than me, I'm very afraid of them. Because I feel like they will say that they will not talk to me. Is it a height thing? No, I mean, I, I always wanted to talk to you, but then you speak English and at a very quick pace. So then I was like... Okay. What? I, How I, 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 I'm mostly That's true. translating. Na? I'm, I'm not, I don't think in English. I think in Hindi, then I translate. So after four sentences, I, I go numb. <laughs> That's why I'm quiet. I speak English fast. Yeah, you're very hyper as well. Right? Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> ah, hyper is a good thing. Sumit and Ashish, thank you so much for coming. Uh, which, congratulations on your freaking 10 million subscribers, dude. Oh! oh. What a... If you don't follow Ashish on Instagram, Ashish on Instagram is always, thank you guys. It's because of you guys. I love you guys. You guys are best guys. Then you see his video, I'm like, He's, where is the love? <laughs> Suddenly, how is he a stud? From stud to like, hey, I love you. If there was love, it would be called you. <laughs> because I believe I'm here because of them. Hmm. And I keep reminding myself, you, you don't let success get to your head. So that's oh, yeah, very that's important. Right. And I've seen uh, YouTubers and other people, they have been, you know, shouting at fans. Say, shouting at Yeah, fans. shouting and with Natak karte, <laughs> acting karte, like a celeb BF karte. Like, yeah, tu unke wajah se aayo. And I keep reminding. And sometimes someone just judges me with my video that I'm a woman. You know? Yeah. So it's an attitude. Have people come and ask you for a photograph and you've been like, no, if I'm very tired. Is that what you want? I always say yes. Even if I don't want to, I always say yes. I'm like, yeah, 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 please. So you guys, you know what to do. Put you... how, how about those who come to click a picture but they don't know who you are? They're like photo they've seen. Uh, uh -huh. They photo photo and then tell me That's how it happens. Yeah, there's always this thing. I've seen a photo and I'll see who you are Google and see who you are. Dude, this has happened with me a lot of times. People come and... BB ki wines! I'm like... Pati ki wines. Pati ki wines. Ah, man. Yeah, so this is, this is the celebrity life that you guys have. Very nice. You were born and raised uh, not in Bombay particularly. You are from a further away town of Bombay. Jodhpur. It, how long did you spend there? How long did you spend there? No, I came to Bombay when I was four years old. 
my father moved oh. here. He was a he's a writer, so mm. he was working here. So he called me. He was I mean I was staying with my grandparents mm. until I was four, and then he called me here, and uh, we did have a very big house. My my nana nani they had a massive house in Jodhpur. Okay. And then uh, my father used to live in Bhayandar. Oh, you're from Bhayandar. Yes. Where is okay, exactly? Where exactly is Bhayandar on the Mumbai map? So it's beyond Mumbai. So if this is Mumbai, this is finished. Then there is Dahisar Chekna ka. Then there is Mira Road, and then there is Bhayandar. Oh, and right wow. at the end of Bhayandar is Bhayandar ki khadi. <laughs> Next to which is is where I used to live. Bhayandar. And what is Bhayandar like? How is it different from the rest of Bombay? For me, the only definition of Bhayandar would be SL World wala rasta. That's ah. that's what Bhayandar is, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, I remember, uh, so we used to live in Bhayandar East hmm. and SL World had just opened up in yeah. Bhayandar West. Se ho ke jata hai. So we used to hire cycles and cycle all the way to SL World. For fun? For fun. It was PUBG, right? That's why. That time you guys used to be like, Oh, we're watching the world outside. Now I don't know more, I know less about Bombay, I know more about Puchinki. <laughs> I know exactly who's house, what will happen here, what's the sniping point from here. Point <laughs> but you guys used to take cycle and just take all the way up to SL World and come back for... I mean, there was no objective in life. We couldn't right? afford SL World's ticket, but we could at least see that it's good. Window <laughs> shopping. We'll sit in the middle of it. For entertainment. <laughs> How was it different coming to uh, uh, Bhayandar? How different was it from your Jodhpur days? Or you have no memory about Jodhpur, right? No, no, I do. I mean, I, because what I was really you? spoiled in those three, four years oh. when I was young, because I was the only kid. And uh, I remember the first day I, I came to Bhayandar, I, I didn't recognize my parents as my parents. I thought, this is no, another set of parents that I have because I thought my <laughs> grandparents were my actual parents. What? Yeah. So I used to call them Bade Papa, Badi Mummy and call my parents Chote Papa and Choti Mummy. Wow, that is... Yeah. You are the literal definition of Mere Do Do Baab. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's a dieter, no? He must have given that like <laughs> Because you spent so much time with your parents, grandparents, yeah. ki aapke liye wo parents were there. And, yeah. were... and then I went to this building, Bhindar mein, Nauga Road mein ek building thi, aur fourth floor pe hamara apartment. So usme lift nahi thi. So CD se chadke jaate se mujhe laga, arey yar, ye to my father is, this father is doing very well. Because <laughs> ye sab apna hai. <laughs> and then I realized, no, ye sirf ye baksa hi apna hai. <laughs> उल्लासनगर <laughs> You are a Ullas Nagri. Yeah, yeah, I am. The Ullas Nagar has Ullas in it. What a cool name. Yeah, I, I have no idea who kept the name. <laughs> who came up with that? Like, like what is the speciality about Ullas Nagar? Ullas Tell me, I speciality. It's an isolated city that mm -hmm. consists of only Sindhis. That's it. Nice. That's only it. Sindhis. It's only Sindhis. Like, okay. Like, if any Sindhi is working in the industry or in Bombay, he has a relative. That's a done deal. Relative hoga hi hoga. Ullas Nagar mein. Okay, what is further? Is Ullas Nagar further? Or is Bhayandar further? Ullasnagar. Ullas Ullas is way further. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, is, is Kalyan further? Or is Ullasnagar You know further? about Kalyan? No, I heard the name of Biswa Kalyan. Ka naam suna oh. <laughs> so, I thought it would be from there. So, I'm like... I have no idea. These are all great. If I'm from Delhi, so I don't have any idea. Ullasnagar further. It's got full of Sindhi. So, how do you negotiate with each other? Pura din, itne mein, nahi, sir, itne mein, itne mein, chawal nahi mil raha, sab mar rahe, kyunki sab negotiate karte ja rahe. <laughs> How was your school life though? You studied, you were a studious kid in school? Yes. Or were I, you an asshole kind of a guy? I was, I was studious. I was quite a studious kid. Right. And I, I, was, I was more like, I was an introvert in school. You were an introvert in school? Yes, I was. Yeah. Because I, I, was a, I was a very unhealthy kid and people, I don't know what, what's, with, what's with people not talking to unhealthy kids. I, this was, this was with... Oh, sorry, I'm saying, yeah, I mean, healthy, as in healthy kid. I'm unhealthy. It's actually unhealthy. unhealthy. Eating. Yeah, unhealthy in eating. Yeah. Ek to, let's clarify this for the people watching. Uh, the word healthy means fat. <laughs> it's just like a polite, politically correct way of saying, Aapka beta beta healthy. I am very healthy right now. Uh, 
So you mean you were very healthy in school? I don't know how it's it's actually unhealthy. I was fat. Exactly. I'm still fat. वो अलग बात है. But yeah. So yes. Yeah, so people. बच्चे बात नहीं करते थे ज्यादा एंड आई वाज अ वेरी इंट्रोवर्ट शाई किड सो मतलब कोई भाव नहीं देता था तो पढ़ाई भाव देती थी मेरे को तो मैं पढ़ाई करना चालू कर दिया <laughs> तो फिर पढ़ाई में अच्छा था मैं बट या देर वॉज दिस पैशन ऑफ एक्टिंग ऑलवेज आई ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एक्टर सो बट नो वन नेवर रियली गिव मी चांस बट इफ यू लाइक अ क्लास क्लाउन और यू लाइक स्टूडियस किड की अगर मैं कुछ पूछूंगा तो मैम मेरे को आंसर पता है मुझे अटेंशन दो आई आई यूज टू मेमिक टीचर्स अ लॉट मतलब ओके So yeah, I I used to mimic teachers, and during one of these incidents in in my eighth standard, I was I was mimicking my PT teacher. Oh fuck, they are the terrible ones, uh, yeah. Yeah, they they are they are terrible. But the, every PT teacher, hmm. every school is the same. Yeah. Tooty footy English. <laughs> Lot of angst. Yeah, angst, and he hates it that कोई teacher उनका period ले लेता है. So it's all typical. तो मैं उनके acting करा था, and my social studies teacher, you know, he just caught me. Huh. And I was terrified. Terrified अभी क्या करेगा नहीं सीरी started laughing ऐसे लाइक वो ऐसे ही बात करते हैं damn sir and then he was directing a play at that time okay and that was the first time I got a I got role. a role because you're mimicking a teacher yeah so I I got a role of a news reporter which hmm. I sucked at okay because uh, I मेरे को बोला गया था कि आपको वो typical बाढ़ uh, period जगह जगह होती है ना जहाँ पे आप करते हो न्यूज रिपोर्टिंग उसकी तरह एक्ट करना बट आई एक्ट लाइक दैट एंड एंड योर रेफरेंस ऑफ न्यूज़ रिपोर्टिंग वाज दैट क्राइम शो ये वैसी दरिंदे को देखिए पानी में डूब रहा है सो ये आई आई डिड दैट मतलब वो रेफरेंस लेके इसको ले लिया है He's like, he told me once, you're good in class, not now. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> and then uh, one day, a uh, guy was absent. So, hmm. uska role tha. He was not there. So, I was told to give a cue to my other, all the people in the play. Correct. Yeah. So, I played that role and I nailed it. Like, I nailed it, and my sir was so impressed. Uh, he gave me that role. That guy got replaced. You stole his role. Yeah. Dude, he stole someone's role in call uh, when he got into theater also. Even he used to do sidey roles. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know about this. But you were also part of a theatre crew, and you you had a nickname also for your uh, standy. Proxy Kumar. Proxy Kumar. Why was that? Why did that name come in? So basically, in the theatre company, all these senior actors you would yeah. do films and television, and also do theatre. So they didn't have enough time to devote for rehearsals, and we would rehearse a lot. Like we rehearse for a month. So जिस दिन वो absent होते थे उस दिन I would remember all their lines, all their moves, everything. Yeah. And I would. do a proxy so that others can rehearse and then i started uh, doing it well huh. and i made sure that i do it so well that they don't call the actual actor and they take me <laughs> instead like literally you both of your acting careers are like thoda sa andar frame mein aa jao the frame mein ho gaya main main aap se hi kar raha hu sir main frame mein main frame mein hum but my actual uh, journey in theater company started uh, in the dark because i used to be a, the guy who would do set changes so after every scene there is a blackout and hmm. then it set changes and then there is lights and you see a drawing room or a bedroom or a studio like this so the stage would go dark exactly for like 10 min- 10 seconds or 15 seconds right and because i'm tall and i could lift stuff <laughs> i would come in and do i was very very clean i could see in the dark and i i, I was very good at it that's your skill in theater i was great at looking at dark mai lamba bhi tha mai utha bhi sakta tha i've rescued so many actors because Some actors have this problem. As soon as it becomes dark, वो अंधेरे में उनको नजर नहीं आता है कि wing किस side है. तो अगर यहाँ तक audience बैठी है, तो अंधेरे में वो measure करके जाते हैं कि blackout होगा, मैं ऐसे मुड़ूँगी और बाहर जाऊँगी. और blackout में भीड़ हुई और दो-चार लोगों से टकरा के, तो वो direction change हो गया. तो वो वहीं चल के जा रही हो आंटी के गोद में. So by throwing them off stage, you became Proxy Kumar and took their role. All right. <laughs> So very good at looking, but in school you're very different from Ashish. Ashish was like a studious boy, but yeah. in school, I was I was terrible at studies. Uh, I started my uh, failing in class career from class eight. <laughs> <laughs> failing in class career? Why? What? Is Because I I consecutively failed in class eight, then I repeated it, then I failed in class ninth, then I appeared privately for class tenth, cleared that, failed in class eleventh, cleared that by ATKT. Failed in class twelfth, then I just quit studies. I was like, "Ye to nahi ho raha." That's an inspiring story. Yeah, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, take this. Take this. Nahi jaa. Class eight se har class mein graduation karte hue ja rahe. I graduated each class. 
Yeah. But but more importantly than that, you were a gunda in school. I was yeah, I was terrible. I I had a very bad bunch of friends. I tell you, I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's so tough to believe that. I like him. I'm marunga. Tere ko. Oh, you like? No, no, no. I'm a bar mil. Tu bar mil. Or bar. Pura ek gang wang tha hamara. You had a gang. I had a gang. I had a bunch of guys who who follow me because I was tall. So you know, I also looked a little intimidating. I was also very plump. Uh, yeah, plum, like by the way, plum. is another word for <laughs> healthy. Yeah, yeah. Healthy is another word for fat. Yeah. yeah. So you are also plum, but you are also tall or tall. Was... So when tall people people become fat, they look really bad <laughs> they, because they are more disproportionately fat. होते हैं वो. It's like a balloon. Did you even? तो वो ऊपर से पतले फिर ऐसे मोटे फिर ऐसे हो जाते. क्योंकि छोटा आदमी जब मोटा होता है ना वो proportion में मोटा होता है. लंबा आदमी मोटा था बहुत बुरा मोटा के तरह बट डिड यू गैंग हैव अ नेम ऐसा कोई बिच्छू गैंग टाइप का कुछ साइलर साइलर तू बोल रहे चंद्रचूर सिंह नन दैट नन दैट इज क्वाइट रॉ एक्चुअली एंड हैव यू गॉन टू अ फाइट फेस्ट फाइट एंड एवरीथिंग अ लॉट सो आई टेल यू I I was remembering this story. One of my best friends hmm. at that point of time, I won't name him because I'm sure he has a family now. He's grown up or whatever. <laughs> so he used to have gutka, and that time the the you know the ab dude ho gaye ho. His ki pehchan isse hoti thi ki apne gutka khana shuru kar diya in Bhindar <laughs> in the locality where I was. Hey, gutka khara hai. मतलब ये लड़का ये अब grown up है. तो हमारी school की prayer चल रही थी और वो लड़का ऐसे था. तो सर ने प्लेयर रुकवाई बोला ए क्या खा रहे हो तुम क्या खा रहे हो बताओ सर मूल चंद <laughs> और सर मतलब ब्लैंक हो गया एकदम उसको समझ ही नहीं आया कि ये क्या हुआ आठवीं का लड़का है और उसने उसको डांट वाट के बार सर बाहर तो इसी गेट से निकलोगे <laughs> वो मैं और दो और मेरे फ्रेंड रुके साइकिल पे के बाहर निकले साइकिल पे <laughs> क्या आज इनकी इनकी इनको बजाएंगे आज क्लास एट में क्लास एट एंड आल्सो यू हैव बीटन अप पीपल लाइक यू बोथ हैव सिस्टर्स राइट यू आर अ इनोसेंट गाय बट यू हैव अ यंगर सिस्टर या सो एज अ आई एम सॉरी द इक्वेशन इज वेरी सिंपल या गैंगस्टर एल्डर ब्रदर यंगर सिस्टर स्टूडियस स्टूडियस ये क्या मूवी का प्लॉट है बहुत डूड ये तो साइलर साइलर ही हो गया यार ऐश्वर्या राय शाहरुख शाहरुख खान इज ब्रदर राइट शाहरुख खान ऐश्वर्या राय आपका चंद्रचूर सिंह कौन था कौन पिटा था ये डिड यू बीट एनीवन अप ओह यू डिड व्हाई एम आई नॉट फकिंग सरप्राइज देयर वाज वन वन पुअर बॉय हु हैड गिवन हर अ रोज वो रोज दे पे मेरी बहन को उसने रोज दिया होगा मतलब भिजवाया होगा या टेबल पे छोड़ दिया होगा बेचारे ने और कुछ ऐसे अच्छा सा नोट लिखा उसने कि यू नो आई रियली लाइक यू सब ने तो वो डर गई बिकॉज शी वॉज इन क्लास फोर और फाइव सो सो शी केम टू मी शी से समरीज गिवन मी रोज समरीज गिवन मी लव लेटर और मेरे को नहीं पता कोई चंदन है चंदन चंद्रचूर चंदन तो मैं गया मैं बोला कौन से पांचवी में छठी में चंदन चलो देख के आते हैं तो कोई भी समझो सिक्स ए में घुसे हाँ। और उधर कुछ पार्टी चल रहा है क्रिसमस या रोज डे पार्टी चल रहा है तो बच्चे लोग सब डांस वांस कर रहे हैं मतलब ये चंदन को नहीं इधर तो आए हाँ मैं चंदन हूँ <laughs> फूल दे रहा है भाई फाक उसने किसी और को फूल दिया होगा पर वो इंटीमिडेट हो गया क्योंकि उसको लगा कि उसका भाई हूँ मैं अब हाँ। और फिर तीन चार चमाट के बाद मेरा एक दोस्त आया उसने बोला भाई ये वो चंदन नहीं है वो सिक्स सी वाला चंदन नहीं दिया ये कोई और चंदन है तो उसको ऐसे पकड़ के रखा था बोला चंदन संभल के नहीं तू ज्यादा फूल उल मत दे सबको जा फिर सिक्स सी में जाके उस चंदन को भी मारा मैं उसको ज्यादा मारा तो तेरे चक्कर में दूसरा चंदन पीट गया सिक्स दे वाले चंदन अगर आप सुन रहे हो uh it's not the same girl ka fool it's some other girl it just dislike this video it just he's just liking like it okay, <laughs> this is the one i love permanent roommate tere wajah se tune mere ko peeta holy shit as is you uh were the opposite from i like how you guys are the exact you bullied your sister so i did mus maine muskan ko bahut blackmail kiya tha kyu <laughs> muskan once said the bad word mc in in, in you mean like master of ceremony <laughs> 
am I going? You're actually saying MC on son of a beast. Yeah. So yes, Just she, she the did. word MC. Wow, it's crazy. I, I'm, I'm not going to say it. Sorry. Yeah, because we are very, we are very, we as a show are very clean. We do not endorse uh, anything negative. So fuck you <laughs> if you think we are gonna abuse on this show. <laughs> Sorry. So you said. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Meri ban ne madar toh nahi bola. Yeah, nahi bola. Nahi nahi bola. So she said MC. So and she, उसको मतलब भी नहीं पता था। वो किधर से सुन के आई थी? अभी मेरे को doubt ये सुन के कहाँ से आई थी? Fourth standard में, fourth standard के लॉन्डे अभी इतना आगे पहुँच गए, मैं ये सोचा, सो मैं सुन लिया, हाँ, उसकी like अभी तो तू गई। मैं बता रहा हूँ मम्मी पापा को। Five years I blackmailed her. Where did she learn the MC word from? I am pretty sure it's from. School. It's not from your dad who said MC once in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I'm so sorry. So uh, dad ne, <laughs> sorry dad. So dad ne uh, Muskan ke saamne nahi mere ko bola tha. Matlab not mere ko nahi. Mere saamne bola tha. Ye kafi cool saamne yaar tumhari yaar. Was your mother like excuse me? Sorry baby, main matlab ah fuck I didn't think fuck me matlab. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. So my dad was driving, okay? Ha. And you just know. I don't even need to explain. If you're driving, in driving the... these words just come out like यहाँ से गाड़ियाँ जा रही हैं यहाँ से. So वहाँ पे my dad got really angry. उन्होंने बोल दिया. Hmm. Like, and I was once at my home that, that night only. ऐसे बैठा था. I like मैं आदत चो. मैंने बोल दिया. And my dad got devastated. अगली बार बोला है. तेरे पैर काट के तेरे को ही चिपकाऊँगा. What a great dialogue, bro. What a amazing dialogue. I'll cut your hair back. 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 So basically, you go through the pain. And then you stitch. That is a lot of... Yes. Wow. That was the day I realized that this is a big thing. I did something wrong. And then Muskan did the same. I'm like... Now your hair will cut your hair. Now your hair will cut your hair. Your hair will cut your hair. I'm sorry, your dad. But you are a smarter kid. Uh, it's very nice. Hey, by the way, both Sumit and I are um, not very smart at studies. Oh. Uh, just. I actually uh, took a sabbatical from studies. Then I started doing theater. <laughs> and uh, sabbatical from studies is the best state. If you want to convince your parent that you're not clear about what you want to do, sabbatical, a sabbatical from studies, studies is what it is. Should be a merchandise T-shirt. Like, <laughs> sabbatical, sabbatical from on sabbatical studies. from studies. And then. Uh, I joined this theatre company and everybody was talking about, you know, all these writers, Nietzsche and Shakespeare and, you know, Bukowski, Bukowski and all. And I was like, why, why, who are these people? So I started reading about them and then it just stuck me that I should complete college. Because I realised that as an actor also, I don't know what it feels like to have that college life, to, you know, have a girlfriend, right, to right, right. sit in the canteen and... I have not done on any of this, I'm, I've just been working. So I went to National College, Bandra, and I said, I have... Whatever, forty-three percent. So, what subject can I get in this? They said uh, arts. <laughs> I said, okay, I'll take arts. So, I took up psychology, Hindi literature, and history. And there were only three people <laughs> who had taken Hindi literature in <laughs> entire Bandra. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. So. That's Bandra. Yeah. Yeah. That's Bandra. That and is Bandra. then there was no class for us. So they said because you guys are only three, we can't give you an entire class. So. Y'all can like do this in the Shit. staff room or wherever <laughs> wow. you feel like. That's humiliating. Yeah, yeah you just ek to main padhai karne sabbatical chhod ke aaya hu. Aaya hu. Mujhe classroom bhi nahi de sakte ho tum log. Aur main apne paise se kiya. Fir I paid the fees also and then I used to go every day. I would not miss class because like, abhi maine paise bhare abhi tum mere ko padhao. Varna <laughs> subah chanda chapet marunga tere ko main. Subah chhe baje utke main aaya hu maine fees bhara hai kamai se apne to abhi main pura pad ke jaunga. You studied editing right like immediately in your yeah. sabbatical you Yeah in my sabbatical edit. I was editing I was editing these countdown shows that used to come back in the day. Hmm. Uh mast dhamaka and all these and I used to also edit these uh, cable ad films. Shangri-La Resort and all those things that come. Have you edited Shangri-La Resort? Shangri-La Resort, yeah. It's near Ulaasnagar. It's near Ulaasnagar. You know it? Yeah. Oh, it's in Ulaasnagar? Yeah, there's a tune too. Shangri-La Resort, Shangri-La... And they would show aunties dressed in salwar kameez in the swimming pool. They were wearing salwar kameez with salwar kameez. 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 
classic. And what ad. used to see on on screen was just one minute. I saw, I had like three hours of footage <laughs> of really uh, healthy people. Healthy people yeah. <laughs> Bathing, and hairy bathing, people. And hairy, people hairy, hairy, hairy bathing people. in that pool. <laughs> you had to go. Wait, 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 wait. So you edited ads. So does anyone know about Shangri La Resort? Yeah. Wow. What? Wow. It's one of those Bombay things that I, because I'm from Delhi, I don't get this Shangri La Resort or wo Parak pe sari, sari pe sari, ah. Parak sari, whatever. Yeah, Parak yeah. sari. Parak sari. Ah, yeah. I don't get that. Then there are Paneri, Paneri. Paneri I don't Paneri, get it. Paneri. Paneri. So specifically. <laughs> yes. Ah, not bad. You, you, so you're a cult editor. Cult editor. You yeah. have edited Shangri-La Resort. Shangri-La Resort. <laughs> Were you looking at the editor and saying, "Yeh, I can do this." Then you photoshopped your own face. How do you transition? No, so to I like the acting first. That. So I, I used to entertain my senior editor in the editing studio itself, and he used to keep telling me, "Ki you should do, you should be an actor." And I never took it seriously. Hmm. Then I went to watch a play, uh, and that's the only time when my father called me to watch a play. Hmm. Uh, he was performing, and after growing up, I went to Prithvi, and I saw, you know, there were there were so many celebrities who had come to watch the play. There was Dharmendra, Vahida Rahman, and these people had come, and it was some sort of a theatre festival. And then I asked around where my father is. They said he's in the makeup room upstairs, light room. So I went to the backstage of Prithvi. It was dark, and I went to this light room, this small booth where they operate lights from, and he was sitting in his dhoti doing lines. Hmm. And from there, I saw. Wait, when you say doing lines. As in remembering lines, uh, not doing lines. Doing lines. In actor's life, I just have to. I was just like, wow, your dad is a stud from NSD. Yeah. Isn't the he makeup? He was doing lines. Doing lines. Got... <laughs> nice. So you had to clear that out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. So he was reading his lines. He was reading his lines. Okay. And uh, from that booth, I saw one actor rehearsing his piece. You know, under this spotlight, and I was like, wow, what is this life? I want to be here. I want to be on stage, and I want to do that. So he had no clue, and then when I saw the play, I came back and I told him I want to be on stage, I want to do acting, and he said, "Nay, mat kare sab. Tujhe kam mila hai, naukri mili hai, tu pada likha nahi hai, kama bhi raha hai. Why would you want to go here? Yeah. You don't get paid in theatre." But something had hit me inside, and I said, "No, no, I want to, I want to do this." So. But then from theatre, you immediately went into television. Somebody came to watch a play. They called me for this. TV show they were making for Doordarshan and they said uh, they told me the role. This is the main role. Blah blah blah. I said, "Ha, huh, great. I'll do it." TV and uh, they said, "How much will you charge?" Hmm. So I'm calculating 200 rupees per show. के मिलते हैं. महीने में चार शो करता हूँ, 800 बनते हैं. इसको बोलता हूँ, 800 एक दिन का मुझे दे दे. तो अगर मैंने 10 दिन काम किया तो 8000 बनेंगे. So I was going to say. 800 and he said, "Look, we can give you five for a day and nothing more. That's our budget." I said, "Five thousand for one day." <laughs> She said, "Yeah," and I will shoot ten days. He said, "Yeah." I said, "Okay then." <laughs> <laughs> Done. And I left. <laughs> the coolest moment in your life, though, uh, is you met a celebrity recently and you can hold your shit together. So, I was approached by Marvel mm. to. Interview Benedict Cumberbatch. Wow! So, <laughs> so this happened. Uh, I was outside. Uh, so I was in the event happened in Singapore. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Hmm. Okay, and Marvel discovered me India by my poster of Doctor Strange behind me while I was shooting one wine. Okay. So I got contacted by them and they were like, "Bro, हमारे लिए कुछ करो ना." I was like, "क्या करना है बोलो ना." Singapore जाना है Benedict Cumberbatch को interview करना है. I was like, "What?" Are you serious? Don't joke with me. Like, yeah, go. And then I hopped on and just went. And वहाँ पे वो event हो रहा था. And I was outside. I was sitting. I swear to God, मेरे को कोई exam viva में भी मेरी इतनी नहीं फटी जितना मेरी उधर फटी थी. क्योंकि Marvel is owned by Disney. Disney India, Disney Singapore, Disney America. Marvel India, Marvel America, Marvel Singapore. Six company, different people coming. Benedict के सामने ये मत करना. ये मत करना. उसको selfie के लिए number बोला. कोई game नहीं खेलना है. I was like, okay. Okay, I got confused. I have to. करना क्या था? I have to just ask questions, but make it fun, na? Like, but ask questions. Okay, I'll make it fun. And then I saw Benedict. He was like there, shining under light. Shining. ठीक है? Getting his makeup done. Okay. Oh, hey, come. <laughs> I said, I said, what? Like he told me, आजा भैया आजा come. Come, come sit. Not Aja Aja, like come sit. I was wondering, उसको हिंदी कहाँ से? नहीं नहीं नहीं, like come. Aja Aja भाई. अरे ये तो मैं accent ऐसे ही रहूँगा. Last time भी चला गया भाई. Aja Aja. 
मोमेंट में था ना केम टू मी Caught me and 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 I I I I was 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 in in my complete complete You froze there. I froze there. I was blushing. I was red. <laughs> and everyone around were laughing. Benedict's manager and everyone. And, uh, what happened was that I was, I was, the entire interview was, was just me fanboying over him. Yeah. If you'll see the interview, you'll like, uh, you'll remember me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Benedict, if you're watching this, which I know you are. <laughs> Actually, he's still a huge fanboy. So, who was it? You kept fanboy. Did you ask a single question? We're like, hala, 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 duk, 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 duk. The most useless, useless thing that I mentioned him. I'm from Ulas Nagar, and I don't know why. <laughs> Hi, Benedict. I'm from Ulas Nagar. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> what did you expect, Benedict, to say? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It just came out of my mouth. Oh, uh, did you? Do you? Is was it a flash of memory? It's like having sex for the first time, right? Definitely. <laughs> Isn't it? It's just me. Okay. <laughs> my sex life is a wine. Six seconds, I'm out. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Next up for you is your rapping now. Are you rapping or is that just you've written a rap? I've, I've written the lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I'm not rapping. My, my voice is very bad. It's fatty. My voice is. So it's not there. Uh, what else do we see? Are you gonna? Are you planning on going into something long form content or you're sticking to YouTube? I, I have plans to direct a movie for. I'll, I'll keep it confidential. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's so, it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all he can say. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Plans to direct a movie. That's good. Great. <laughs> As of now, my plans are to do another season. Uh, yes, Faisal, you've been great. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to watch uh, Sumit Vyas when Tripling Two comes out later this March. Once again, give a huge round of applause to Sumit Vyas and Ashish Chanchlani. Yeah. It's time for us to play the game. Yeah. And now, for no reason at all, a romantic date. Hey, hey, shooting star. Show me more, no? Yep. See that shape there? That's that's Orion's belt. And and what about that? Oh, that's a brand endorsement. All right, welcome. Uh, we are about to play a game with both of you. It's called Love of a Beast because why not? <laughs> uh, this entire game, let me just flat out tell you, you have to be really nice to me because a couple of episodes ago, it was nobody was nice to me. <laughs> the game we are playing tonight is an homage to the most epic romance known to our generation, Rakhi ka Swayamvar. <laughs> this game is all about wooing me, mesmerizing me, loving me, and making me feel special. Each round, the guests have to complete an activity, and whoever wins. Wins my heart. That's precious. Yeah. All right. Point number one goes to Sumit. Thank you. I love you, Abish. Oh, I feel like he's not saying it. He's not saying it. No, no, no. I love you very much, genuinely. Look in my eyes. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I'm getting full Cumberbatchy feeling. All right. This round that we're going to play with you is called Catch My Heart. Uh, that's because we have TT balls and we've painted them as red heart and black heart. That's how creative we are, guys. <laughs> I'll be throwing these ping pong, these heart balls. We have to play like it's hearts. Okay? I'm gonna bounce my heart to you. How many of you? Uh, depends upon how many hearts you catch. You win accordingly. But in the middle of it, if I throw a five star, and if you manage to catch a five star, that's 50 points. Each heart that you catch will be 10 points, and uh, if you manage to have one five star or two five stars, it depends upon as many you catch, you get 50 more points. So and then do we get to keep the five stars and eat them? Yeah. Oh great. <laughs> Just you, clarify. You are wooing our sponsors more than Just you're wooing me. Just he did that. <laughs> so you get ten more points. <laughs> well done. Well done. He knows the way to my heart. Five stars is very healthy, by the way. It's, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sarcasm. I feel so. No, there's no sarcasm. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, take your positions, lovers of mine. So remember, I have a, I'm a tender guy. So I, I like, I like tender conversations. I like a very soft, soft way of speaking. I'm, I might be energetic, but that's because of insecurity. But in my heart, I'm an introvert. Don't laugh too hard at that. <laughs> so you guys are in your position. I'm ready to go. So 
It's a very awkward place to keep balls, but... <laughs> Not really. I mean, they are very close they're, they're, to your actual one. They are very close to where they should be. <laughs> Thank you. This is the way that the man's brain is going to be my heart is going to be there. You ready? You know warm-up required? Okay, cool. Before we start, is there anything sweet you want to say to me? I love you, Abish. If you say two times, it will be minus. Abish, your jeans is looking great. Abish, have you lost weight? Hey, you'll get 10 points for jeans because he's also a sponsor. Oh, dude, he's killing it. Okay, here we go. Guys, can you give me a lead in to 3, 2, 1, okay? So, go. Whenever you're ready, just tell me 3, 2, 1, we'll start with this. Oh. <laughs> He's done with it. He wants to go home. Wait, wait. All right. 3, 2, 1, go! go. That, 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 that is that fast. It is that fast. Sumit is at zero. Oh, 10. Sumit has got 10. Ashish, you almost missed it. Oh, Sumit's got two. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. What? Three, two, one. Oh, you missed it. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. She boop chick. Cat chick, boop chick. Cat chick. Oh, not bad, not bad. Okay, another tiebreaker. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We got another 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, zero, go. Oh. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, fantastic, keep it going. Hold it, hold it. Okay, it's time to do the counting. Uh, Sumit. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. 40 points, 40 points. 50. 60, 70, 80 points, ladies and gentlemen, 80 points. Well done. 80 points plus those sponsor plugs, so 100 bana dete hain. All right, let's start with 10, 9, oh sorry, 20, sorry. It's a tie. You guys love me equally. Please don't split my heart that badly. Ladies and gentlemen, the games are over and the winner is none other than me because I feel great about myself now. Once again, make some noise for Sumit Yas and for Ashish Shanchlani. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We've got SOA picks coming up next. Son of the picks coming up next. And now, for no reason at all, songs for villains. Escobar Aja, 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 Escobar Aja, 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 Aja. On Son of a Beach Picks tonight, we have a singer-songwriter who just released his debut crowdfunded album called Songs from a Matchbox. Because I live in Bombay. It's, that's Say no more, I understand. He'll be singing a brand new original called City Life. We give you Raghav Miatl. Claim to be this person, not selfish, not greedy, well that's not me, it's hard to be. I'd hate to be mistaken for someone not needy, well that's just me, it's hard to see. I close my eyes and dust bolts called city life, wonder why we live here and why we haven't. Left. I close my eyes in narrow lanes and big styes Wonder why can't see the sky and all the stars Why we all chase the love, we all chase the cars We all chase the good life with broken hearts I can sing to the clouds, sing to the rain It won't mean a thing in these back trains I 
Close my eyes to begging kids and their cries I wonder why I can't see the stone that I've become Close my eyes to honeybees and butterflies I wonder why they fell trees and how they aim to breathe While we all chase the love We all chase the cars We all chase the good life With broken hearts I can sing to the clouds Sing to the rain It won't mean a thing in these back trains I claim to be this person Not selfish, not greedy Well, that's not me It's hard to be like a post credit scene i only got 20 seconds to tell you this but i know you're watching the episode but you're not subscribing so why don't you just click that subscribe button be a friend check out the rest of the episodes that we've got on son of a beach also you can get this cup on go louder.in that's my merchandise and stuff i'm cool now